can't remember making art and thinking, oh, you know, I've made this thing, other than a more traditional type thing. You know, when I was a kid, I loved to bake, so those were temporary objects, but I was always baking. I liked sweets, and I still do. And uh, I was taught to knit and needlepoint and cross stitch and all embroidery. I did all of that stuff with my mother and my grandmother. It was photography that, that sort of led me back to making objects, or to making objects. Um, I was photographing isolated objects, and I realized I was really interested in how they related to each other and, you know, what their shapes were. And then the pastry work came because I, I, I sat in on a class with Paul Koss at the Art Institute after I realized I really loved his work. And I did a piece for his class, uh, a site-specific little sculpture of 20-layer uh, finial on the wall at the Art Institute, and that, and that led me into that whole body of work using pastry. The skillet pillar was um, one of the results of the playing around with uh, mold making, and um, that rubber is actually a rubber that's used for, uh, as a mold material because it's flexible, so you can cast into it and peel it off, you know off the, um, the plaster or whatever you're, you're casting. I think I, I started doing that because I, I, cast a, I wanted to cast a tea, teacup in epoxy and cover it with something, and then I liked the mold. It's what happens to me a lot. You know, I, I like something along the way and try to investigate that.